Hello again, Michael Friedrich here from beautiful North Carolina, and today I have three new products to review. A new razor, a new soap, and a new aftershave. The razor for today is the Maggard Slant on a Maggard MR5 handle, which I purchased because I really like the shape, and I like the idea of having a way to hold the handle with your fingers for those indents. So we'll talk about that once we start shaving with it. So for today, which I have pressed into the Captain's Choice Lather Loading Bowl, is the uh, Mickey Lee Soapworks Grand Havana Soap. And I'll talk about that as well when we start lathering that up. And then the aftershave for today is going to be the Barrister Man, the Barrister Man Reserve Cool. So let's go ahead and get lathering the soap. I'm using my Rod Neep little midget bore. The soap is a coconut oil based soap, but it does contain uh, both tallow and lanolin, as well as aloe vera and some cocoa butter and a, a variety of other um, other ingredients. Soap lathers up very quickly, and when you initially smell it, my first impression is uh, sort of dark, maybe overly steeped um, black tea. And the scent is described as being kind of the rich tobacco scent of a, of a good Cuban cigar. My first impression when smelling the soap in the dish before you start lathering it is there's not much tobacco there for me it smells a lot more like the uh, like the tea um, the problem for me is that once i start lathering the soap is that the overriding scent i get is cigarette smoke and i'm very sensitive to this to the scent of cigarette smoke um, i don't like it when it lingers in my clothes for example and this to me the scent although there is a a bit of sort of sweet tea in there it smells a little too close like cigarette smoke for me so the scent isn't for me but the soap performance as you'll see when I get this lathered up you can see working out great in the bowl I'm going to load up a bit heavily because today's, today's the last time that I'm using it so I'm just going to make sure I get a really good good heavy load on the brush very impressed with the performance of the soap it lathers easily feels really good on the face you can see I have just a, a mountain already going let me just pull some of that off it's the blessing and the curse of that lather bowl and the loading bowl. It just creates so much lather so quickly. If you don't like a mess, well, too bad. Yeah, the soap does lather easily and quickly. But the scent, once it gets lathering, yeah, 100% not for me. You know, it's one of the, uh, every time, every time. I'm going to scoop that one out of the sink. No need to lose it. It's one of the dangers of these soap reviews is that it's very easy to talk about performance. It's easy-ish to talk about the scent. I mean, there's seriously lather flying everywhere. And, you know, it's infrequent that there's disagreement about the, the quality of the soap, which of course may be affected by your water or maybe by your brush type, or you know, there's a host of things that might come into play there. But the scent is so personal and I find it very hard when people ask me, for example, what does it smell like to you and do you think I will like it? I really can't tell you. All I can do is tell you what it feels like or smells like to me or how it works on my skin. And then if you find for other products that they seem to work like that for you, then maybe we have kind of a similar taste or similar reaction. You can sort of go by that. But again, as always, I recommend that you, for reviews, Take in a number and try to balance them out. All right, well, as you can see, nice, very easy to lather. Feels great on the face. The scent, well, okay, that's clearly not one for me, but I know there's lots of people that love the smell of tobacco. I will say in terms of tobacco scents, something like the Z Pepino, which I really quite like, that's a tobacco flower scent. Um, and then something like a sweet, um, a sweet pipe tobacco maybe. Okay, I'm fine with that. But this just sort of tips over somehow into a, it's just too close to just regular cigarette smoke. Yeah, not for me. Okay, this is a Wilkinson Sword Blade. Hold that up right. There we go. On its fifth use. Now, let me start shaving. We'll start talking about how well the razor works. I think this is a uh, another just Excellent option if you're into slants or if you want to get into slants. 
This is a very, very low cost way to get into them. You can buy the head separately if you already have a handle that you like. Or you can pair it with the handle. I think you even get a discount if you in fact pair it with the handle. I've not really had any difficulty finding the angle with this razor. It's got a nice, relatively slim head profile. I'm really quite enjoying the handle, although I will say when I first started using it, the first two or three shaves, I just had to uh, sort of adjust to the weight of it. Very nice sound to the razor as well. Like a nice, a nice gentle rasp. Two plus days worth of growth. Soap is providing a lot of glide, good protection. Yeah, my next Mickey Lee soap is going to have to be the Drunken Goat because that's another milk-based soap. I think that was the sixth, or maybe the seventh out of the total ones that I could uh, that I could find out about. These blades work very well in here. Do need to pay a bit of attention, a little bit of sort of skin irritation on this side of my face, just, just happens. A little inflamed. Quick, easy first pass. So, about the razor, particularly with that handle on it. So, <laughs> the razor is incredibly efficient. It is really just tearing through the hair. And because of the uh, sort of the, the audible feedback, particularly for passes two and three, if you can still hear a bit of stubble, I know that for a lot of people, there's just this tendency to keep going to make sure that that is just scooping out some extra leftover lather. I don't want to let that go to waste. The razor is very efficient. And so even though you might still hear some stubble, and if you have a tendency to continue to overshave in the same part of your skin, I think you're going to end up regretting it. Not because the razor is poorly designed. In fact, far from it. The razor is very efficient and you just do not need to continue shaving over the same spot. What's going to happen if you do that is that the hair is gone and now all that is left to shave is your skin. And I can easily see how if you're a little over enthusiastic, you're going to get some razor burn. So don't do it. Easy, light, no pressure, just let the razor do all the work. There's absolutely no reason with this razor to bear down at all. And really efficient, just cuts through the hair smoothly and easily. No resistance. I don't know what the coating is on the head, um, but it does feel like it's got a nice bit of a nice bit of slide to it. Okay, this is the across the grain. Yeah, just really honestly absolutely as little pressure as possible just gliding the razor over bit of rasp don't overdo it yeah very very impressed so far I've had the first couple shades were a little rougher than I wanted simply because I was still just adapting to the weight of the handle But in every case, beautiful smooth shave. A great soap doesn't hurt either, obviously. All right, slightly different angle for the across to here, but right down there, a little bit with kind of across. 
Now I should also note, by the way, that the uh, the head design completely covers the posts of the razor. You know, there's there's no there's no cap sticking out piece. There's, you know, the, the blade is completely enclosed, and I personally really like that. There's definitely parts of my neck where because of the way my windpipe juts out right there, for example, if you're going in at that angle, if that blade end is exposed, it's very, very easy to nick yourself there. I know that the, um, the Maggard website does caution that um, you may need to check the alignment. I've not had an issue so far. I've just put the blade in um, and just screwed it shut and was absolutely fine. But clearly, take a careful look when you uh, assemble the razor every time. Very good slickness on that soap. Yep, right there, a little bit. Okay. Last couple weeks, that spot on my neck, for some reason, this area right here, just seems a little more prone to irritation than it does normally. Comes and goes. All right, third pass. Let's scoop up a bit more of the lather. And again here, no, no pressure, just very lightly sliding that razor over the face. You're gonna be very happy with the outcome there. If slants work for you. And I know that they don't work for everybody or that for some people, they just don't believe that it makes any bit of difference. And in that case, well, I don't think you should, you know, spend the money on it then. All right, let's squeeze a bit of the lather out since this brush is a bit of a lather hog. It's actually been a bit of a bit of a busy weekend. We had a um an unrelated shaving, unrelated note. Pelican, which is a fountain pen and ink company, hosts an annual meetup called the Pelican Hub, um, where cities can uh, basically propose that they be one of the hubs. And based on enrollment numbers, you know, cities are selected, but Raleigh was selected based on the number of people that uh, registered. So Friday night we had a meetup of about 21 or 22 people. Pelican, you know, provides, uh, you know, a free bottle of ink and some paper samples and a very cool kind of notebook pen sleeve. Just an opportunity for, you know, for fountain pen lovers to get together, get some uh, get some free swag from a, uh, from a company, have a chance to just meet up together and have a good time to talk about pens. So that was a great time on Friday night. And then Saturday, well, Saturday, unfortunately, was mostly spent dealing with a water pipe leak under the house, which in terms of weekend plans, um, yeah, not high in the list, by the way. Very gentle here. And as you can hear, there's still a bit of a rasp, but Pass over it and done, right? There's really no need to continue to sort of over shave there. I'm just gonna be a little bit careful here because that skin has been a little prone. There we go. It really is funny how often this comes up, by the way, in some of the comments or questions people post about, you know, what direction to shave in and how how close it's going to get and, and sort of doing it right. With my skin irritated there, there are some parts of the shape I'm going to give up on. I, I'm not going to go crazy and chase BBS in that spot. It's just going to result in, in razor burn irritation. There's no need for it. I think people get really too hung up on this idea of the epically perfect shave every time. Doesn't happen. You, know, you can see right there just a little bit.
All right, the mustache area, finish that off. Yeah, there we go. A little slight little invisible line of hair right here that's a little bit rough. For those of you that commented on my YouTube videos from the last couple of weeks about your beard hair getting tougher too, I have no doubt that that is what's happening. After two days, if I rub my hand over my face, it feels bristly and kind of rough in a way, which it honestly, it really never did. All right, well, mm -hmm. good, 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 good. Lovely soap, easy shave. Yep, a little bit of a nip there, but I'm not gonna worry about that at all. Otherwise, nice and smooth. See, this is a time where if I just, uh, if I wanted to go for another fourth pass, like a cleanup pass, if I just want to completely just destroy any remaining stubble, but I'm not going to. You can just tell from the feeling of my skin, it's not a smart move. Just leave it just like that. That is plenty good. Yeah. Overall, very impressed with the performance of the soap. Lathers like a champ. Okay, the scent is not for me, but you may very well love that scent. Um, I think the overall performance of the soap, just whatever the, you know, that particular formula, which I know, I believe is changing, but that particular formula still works fantastic. You know, it's a very nice, rich, just, yeah, feels good. Very nice, close shave. All right, aftershave. It is today, it is Barrister and Man. This is the Reserve line and it's Cool, which is a redo of um, an aftershave that I have used in the past and loved quite a bit, which was the Floyd Blue, um, which I believe is sadly no longer available and maybe that we're going to come back. But first of all, packaging on this, this is a very cool square shaped bottle, very nice sort of retro patent shaving related items on the label, very nice contrast here. I think the label and the packaging is just really well done. I will agree the ingredients are very hard to read for those of us that have uh, failing eyesight. Not age related at all. There's a tremendously long list of botanicals in here. The first ingredient, witch hazel. Second ingredient, alcohol. Um, this particular top cap says, you can't refuse a scent. I know there's been some differing opinions about the about the top cap there. That, that doesn't feel sort of cheap or, or odd to me. I really do really like the design here. I think this is just fantastically well done. It's got a great feel to it. It looks well designed, it looks put together. I mean, I like the shape of the bottle. So enough chit chat about the product. Let's actually use it. This one does come with a regulator in the cap. So let's pour some of this out. Um, I will say if you like your liquids blue, you're going to be very happy with this. It is very blue. Rub it up. Oh, I missed one small spot right there under my nose. Again, not gonna worry about it. Oh, wow. This does not smell to me exactly like the Floyd Blue did, but it smells excellent. It is very, very close. A slightly richer, maybe a slightly sweeter scent. Oh, it does a beautiful classic, I hate to say European barbershop, because what does that really mean? But in my mind, that's kind of a European barbershop scent and just smells excellent. Scent is pretty strong. Um, I don't think the scent lasts for too long. It's not like you can wear this for hours and hours. Um, but if you were to put on like another scented, uh, like an aftershave balm, I think that would be a problem. So if you really enjoy the scent, let this really dry down and then come back later and apply some, some skin cream. Oh my God, that was so good. It is lightly mentholated, by the way. And I mean lightly mentholated. It has just a touch of a bit of a cooling effect. It is not a highly mentholated aftershave. You're not gonna feel like the super cold blast. It's there as kind of a very light uh, undertone to the aftershave. 
wonderful. Okay, well, yes, a little nick there. I have to watch that for the next couple weeks. That spot here is just going to sort of settle down a bit. Mm, a little bit over here, too. Anyway, no matter. Today's razor, the Maggard Slant on the MR5 handle. Really enjoying the handle, very easy to use, easy to hold, long enough that two fingers easily fit into the uh, indentations, and then, at least for me, pinky finger goes under there, offers a lot of good control, easy to hold, easy to turn. The shape of the head is nice and tight, allows you to get around the face, no exposure on the ends. Right? The blade is fully enclosed, which I find is a, that's a big positive for me. Very effective, very easy to use slant razor. Don't overshave with this. If you've made your passes, don't just keep shaving on. I think you're gonna end up paying for it. It's very efficient. It's taking off the hair when there's no more hair to take off. Only one thing remains, and that's your skin. So stop in time, okay? Excellent razor, really liking it, easy to use, fantastic price point. If you need a handle, go for that as well. Today's soap, just a little bit left in the, uh, in the lather bowl. That was the Mickey Lee, uh, the Grand Havana. This is the very, I mean, the soap itself performs fantastic. If the scent's for you, great. That scent is, unfortunately, sadly, not for me. Then, following up at the end with the Barrister Man, the Reserve Cool, the Floyd Blue Redo, um, which is an alcohol-based, as I said, a absolute laundry list of botanicals that are included. Face feel on this is really excellent. It dries down. The skin does not feel tight. A little dry, but I expect once it's completely dried down, it's gonna be just fine and it smells great. And because it smells great, I now smell great. So I'm gonna stop right there. Uh, oh, before we go, let's not forget to mention, of course, my Rod Neep. This is the olive wood hourglass handle um, with a mini board knot in it. Another wonderful brush from Rod Neep. Well, that's it. I think I've covered everything. Well, that's it again. If you've uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please let me know. You can, of course, as always, comment against the video or leave questions. I try to get back to those as quickly as I can. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, goodbye.